Hi, in this video I will be talking about my DX Toolbox application for shortwave radio listeners. DX Toolbox is available both for Windows and the Mac. This video is being shot on the Mac just because it makes it a little bit easier. The Windows version of the app works absolutely the same. Uh, you can download a copy of DX Toolbox to try out absolutely free. Go to blackhatsystems.com slash dxtoolbox and then go to the download page. And you can download it, give it, give it a try, see, and see what you think about it. Um, I'll be talking about some new features I've added which are in the version 5, uh, right now the version 5 betas. So if you want to actually test these out, be sure you do download the latest beta copy of DX Toolbox. Um, the first window I'm going to talk about is the shortwave schedule window. Uh, this is based on the EIBI database that gets updated all the times per month and it's a really comprehensive database and list of all the shortwave broadcasts that are on the air. Uh, it's organized, sorted by frequency and you can of course go through it and look for stations based upon frequency, you can go to individual meter bands, makes it a little bit faster. Of course, the really handy way to use it is to be able to search. Uh, for example, let's say we want to find out uh, where Radio Habana is right now. We can do a search. We can search by name. We can search by country. That will probably be easiest. And we can search for Cuba. And we're going to get a list. I have it set up right now to show only all the transmissions that are on the air now. You could also search and get a list of all their transmissions, uh, which is handy if you want to look to see when they might be on in the future. So we'll, we'll just look for now, and we see that they're on three frequencies. Uh, most likely, the easiest one to hear right now is going to be 11760. So we can go... I've got my radio over here, and I can function 11760, and sure enough, there they are. Now what's nice is we've also got built into DX Toolbox the gray line window, which shows us a, a map of the entire Earth the part that's lit by the sun, you can see the sun over here, the part that's, the part that's in darkness. I have the app set up for my location, which is right over here. Uh, if you pick a station that you're going to listen to and you click on it, it actually will plot for you the um, path to, to the station, which you can see in white. And at the top of the window, it gives us the distance to the station. It goes away when I touch something on the window. Um, and it's 1,923 kilometers away. We also get the bearing. And this works for any station that you happen to pick. So it's kind of any way to find out where the station actually is, how far away it is, and so on. Um, if we want to look for someone else, let's say we want to see if Turkey's on the air right now. We can do a search for Turkey. And we're going to get all the various hits. Now, some of these are the Voice of Turkey. Some are other stations. These are utility stations. Probably not quite as interesting for us. Um, so we can see Turkey's on a few different frequencies. Uh, the 31 meter band is probably pretty good right now. Again, we can look at our map and we can see what the path is to, to Turkey. They're on uh, 9460, so we can try that. That sounds like it's most likely Turkey. We'd have to wait and see if we get an ID or at least hear if they're in Turkish. Um, we can see the other frequencies that they're on right now that may or may not propagate here quite as well. Um, 11.930. That definitely sounds like, like it's probably Turkey. That's not coming in as well. Sounds like there's some interference there. And there they are on 19 meters again, not necessarily coming in quite as well. Of course, I'm not going to try the uh, 49 meter frequency. It's the afternoon right now, and there's really no chance that I'm going to hear that. Um, 
The other thing you can do, of course, is if you tune in a station and you want to find out what am I possibly listening to, uh, we can also search by frequency. So if we tune around and find something, oh, there's something, okay, 15410, so who is that? So we can search. Ah, we see this is one of the VOA run stations. And we can click on it here. And we can see on the map where it's being transmitted from. Now, one nice thing we can do is once we find a station, we can get some more information about other transmissions by that station. For example, we can look and get an entire list of all the other transmissions by that station, which we can also sort by time, so we can see ones that are on the air right now. So here's the 15410 transmission we're tuned into. We also see from another transmitter site they're on the air on 15, on, excuse me, 13590 uh, from the Middle East. We can give that a try and see whether we'll hear it or not. Not coming in nearly as well. There's really nothing there. I doubt we'll hear 15150 right now. So no, so that's only one fifteen four ten. We can also see other times that they're going to be on the air, so this gives us, of course, other listening opportunities. Likewise, we can continue to see what else we can find. All right, 15370. Vatican Radio. And again, we can look and we can see um, if there's any other transmissions of interest. Again, sort, get everything now. This is supposed to be in Ukrainian. That certainly sounds like Ukrainian to me. Yeah, there they are, and it's fifth, it's uh, fifth, or 1658 UTC, and of course it sounds like they, they just signed off the air, they're getting ready for their 1700 transmissions. So we probably won't be hearing anything else right now. No, I wonder if the other one even went away. There they are. They're, they're still on the air there. So let's see what else we can find. 15315. from okay, from Germany. And we see their transmitter site. And again, we can look and we can see if we have any other transmissions by them. Now we can search for the entire country also. So where you've got cases where there's more than one shortwave station from a given country, we can see all of their transmissions. And it's top of the hours, of course, they've also gone off the air. We'll, we'll look for something else. 15, yeah. Coming up at 1600, looks like they're going to start a DRM transmission. And again, we can check for any other transmissions from them. <laughs> On the air now. Mardi politique. Véronique Rigolet. Ils sont chacun en deux. That's too high of a frequency. Oh, I think we're on the This is the problem, of course, with trying to do live DX and you may or may not hear things. We can again con continue to search. Now we can also, of course, search by station. Uh, if I do want to hear, um, let's look for Romania. You can see Radio Romania signing on. It looks like they're in English, possibly in 810. And indeed, there they are. Now, as I said, we can get a list of all the upcoming transmissions by a given station and say there's one that we want to listen to in the future and we don't want to forget about it. Well, we can add a reminder. 
Vimeo, um, for a given station. And then we'll know to tune in. Like, let's say we want to listen to the transmission at 1800. We can add a reminder. And if you look down here, we have this re reminders window. I'll make it a little bit bigger. You can see here's the transmission that we added. This is a time sorted list of all the transmissions, the ones that are currently on the air are at the top of the window. So if there's particular transmissions that we want to hear and we don't want to have to keep a list by hand and remember we have to tune in, we can just add them to this window. And this tells us what's on the air at any time. So these are only stations that we've added because we particularly want to hear these. Uh, for example, we see Turkey is on 11 9.30 right now, and we can tune in and see if we can actually hear them. That's right, we were getting interference there. Let's have 15 520. And here they are. Ah, and there's the ID. So we actually are listening to the voice of Turkey just, just as it's shown here. Uh, here's the transmission we were listening to earlier from Romania. Um, voice of Africa. I don't know if we'll get 31 meters from Africa. We can give that a try. Now it's a little bit too early, I think. Cairo, I'm not even going to try. I know that their audio is going to be terrible. There's probably no chance we're going to hear them whatsoever. Um, we'll go back to Turkey. Or excuse me, to Romania. So again, and of course, once you've listened to a station and you decide that you don't want it on the reminders list anymore, you can, of course, just remove it. Um, and this list continuously updates every minute. So as new stations sign on, again, the top of the window is always going to show you what's currently on the air that you want to try to listen to. Um, and of course, as with all the other entries in the, in the app, if you click on any of these, the gray line window map will automatically be updated um, so that you can see where the transmissions are actually coming coming from the path, whether it's in daylight, darkness, and what the chances are that you'll actually be able to hear it. Um, and again, now you can also for you can also get a list, for example, of other transmissions that are on a particular frequency. So in this case, we brought up a window. These are all the transmissions on 15.520 for the entire day. The ones that are currently on the air are, are uh, being shown in bold. And then for many of these, you can then bring up in another window, like here's Spain. We're obviously not hearing them right now, but are they on the air right now? So let's get a list of all the transmissions by them. Here they are. Uh, and again, you can continuously go through as many of these windows as you like. So if you find things that are interesting, you can, you can bring them up. doesn't look like we're getting any of those right now. I see some of these are on the weekends only. But again, if you decide, oh, this is only on Saturdays and Sundays, but I like to, to, to remember that I should probably tune it in, you can, of course, add a reminder, and it gets, and it gets added to our reminders list so that we'll know that we then do, do want to listen to it. Uh, again, this makes it really easy if you tune around and you come across the station, well, what am I listening to? Coming in well, you can, of course, look for other frequencies that maybe are coming in better. You can find other transmissions that you might have a better chance of hearing. Then, likewise, you can search for particular stations that you do want to listen to, and this makes it very easy. Um, the other thing that we've added is the logbook. And this works just like any other logbook. Of course, many other apps have logbooks. The advantage here is the logbook is integrated in with everything else. So, for example, um, we've listened to Romania. And now let's say we want to add a, a logging for that. Well, we can just right-click on it, and we can say that we want to log it. Boom, now we get a new window. We can enter in the details of when we started to hear the station. I know we started earlier. We'll say it was more like 1702, let's say. And we can enter in when, when we're all done listening to it. 
member state in the Security Council at the 2019. The frequency, again, is you see a lot of the information has been entered in for you, so you don't have to do it. And then, of course, you can put in the SIO. They're coming in pretty well. I'd give that a 444. This is a free form entry. If you if you prefer to use SIN, SINPO and you enter, enter in, you know, a, a five-digit code, you can certainly do that also. You can pick the mode, which for shortwave broadcast is mostly AM, but if it's in sideband or something, you can enter that too. The type of the station, of course. Uh, and then you would type in all your blogging, all of your program details here, which is handy if you're then going to send out a, a reception report and then click OK, and now it's been logged. And of course, you can go back through all of your logs. And one nice feature is for example, you can um, indicate that you've sent out for a reception report and whether you've got one back again. So, for example, you can double click on a previous entry. Here's one for CHU. And I put down that I sent a reception report out on October the 3rd and I got my QSL back on, on October the 11th. And you see in the actual logbook, you have the sent and received data for the QSL. This is handy because now you can see, well, what stations have I sent reports out to and I haven't heard back yet? So you know if, you, if it's time to possibly send follow-up reports. Uh, the logbook can, of course, be searched also if you want to look for particular entries. Say, I want to find all the entries for Turkey. I can get search. And here are all my entries, and there's two cases where I've sent reception reports out to Turkey. One, I got the report back in about three or so weeks, which isn't bad. Uh, and then I have another report I sent out a little bit later, so I don't have it back yet. But when I do, I can enter in that date, and then I know that I have it. Um, Go back to look at all of our entries. You can, of course, search the logbook by station name. You can search by date, time, frequency. So if we're in a particular frequency and see, well, what have I heard on that particular frequency? I see. Oh, I actually heard the uh, voice of Korea from North Korea on that particular frequency. Likewise, I can do this for any uh, any other frequencies. I can even search by ranges. So if I want to look, for, let's say, for the entire 25 meter band, yeah. I'll go 11400 to, let's say, 12100. Now I get a list of all the stations I've heard within that particular range that I've logged. And again, I have all the data on it, the type of the station, if a QSL has been sent, and so on. Um, I can also search by dates, and again, I can search over a range, I can search by mode, and so on. Um, so that's a very handy way to to, uh, to to be able to find things. See if I can remember how to do a search by date. The amount is equitable, so the value we will set will be within that range. On the other hand, the justice there we go. So now I have a, ser a search for all the, the report for all the stations I've logged between so October the third and October the twelfth. Again, very in handy. So that's the logbook, and then. Again, once I've found something in here that I've heard in the past, I can say, well, what are there other transmissions like? For example, Voice of, of Korea, I can search and I can get our entire list of all their transmissions. And I'll sort it for just the ones on the air now. Uh, I don't know that any of this is going to come in now, so I'm not going to try to tune it in. But of course, we can pick entries here, and, and, they're, and they're updated as always on the map. Um, so I think I've gone through most of the new features that I've been working on. Again, you can go to the website, blackhatsystems.com slash DX Toolbox, go to the download page, download a copy of Beta 5, and um, you can you can try it out for yourself. Completely abandoning the idea of introducing the split VAT. Minister Misha explained that Romania registers a new record low among EU member states as regards the difference between the volume of the VAT, which should go to the state budget, and that which is collected.